of uh, St. Mary's, Georgia, uh, where pamphlets have been showing up at people's doors saying the KKK has been sending out flyers uh, going door to door. There's video of one of them, white and proud, sending these to people's homes. Now, police are looking into this, and they've already looked into this and say, you know what? No crime is actually being committed with these pamphlets. It's a freedom of speech issue. You can throw it out if you want to, but they're not doing anything illegal. I want to bring in Mark Potok from the Southern Poverty Law Center. Uh, Mr. Potok, thank you for being with us here. What do you think? Uh, what do a lot of people think? Well, you tell me what do you think when you hear that stuff like this uh, is still going on, and not just going on, but blatantly happening like this. Well, in the case of the Klan leafleting, I mean, that is absolutely common. That happens more or less every couple of weeks somewhere in this country. Is that so, right? Do you think maybe a lot of people even be surprised to hear that? The KKK is out there handing out, I mean, I, I don't want to, you know, what? yeah, I'll call them illegitimate. Yeah, they're handing out stuff like they are le a legitimate group, like uh, anybody else is coming to your door trying to steal you a, a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I mean, you won't quite see them as often as you see the Salvation Army. I mean, they're not all over the country, uh, and it's really in particular kinds of communities you tend to see them. But yes, they are out there. They're small. They're weak. They're scattered. Uh, and to a large extent, this is what they really do. Uh, but the fact is, is yes, they leave rather frequently. D you know, speaking of the Long Island case, yeah. I think is an entirely different kind of case. Now, do we see, I, I mean, are we seeing more of these? You said it happens every couple of weeks with something like these pamphlets. But are we starting to see more of this stuff? Do we have any evidence that there are growing in numbers, uh, that there is more of an, uh, an audience and young men out there who, who, who want this stuff? I would not say that the Klan per se is growing, but white supremacist groups in general, yes, okay. over the last seven or eight years have been growing quite a bit. Growing why? Uh, well, uh, really, the truth is, is that over the last seven years, they've grown entirely on the basis of the immigration issue. In hmm. other words, the Klan, neo-Nazi groups, and so on say, you know, they made a lot of hay out of the idea that these are immigrants with brown skin, people who are coming to destroy our country. Uh, you know, to rape our daughters, to bring leprosy uh, to our people, and so on. And, and, you know, basically it's an issue with a lot of resonance in the public out there, and uh, these groups have and, realized that and taken advantage of it. And wrap up by giving me your comments, and as you give us these comments, we're going to put up a statement, actually, we got <laughs> from the Ku Klux Klan uh, talking about the situation up in Long Island. Again, this is a situation where seven... Uh, uh, well, actually, this, this, this one comes out of Georgia, actually. Um, but the Klan is distancing itself from those flyers out of St. Mary's, Georgia, saying that they're not involved or associated with the drive, says also not involved or associated with any other Klan group or groups. We do not advise them. They work autonomously from us. So the, <laughs> what does that mean when the Klan is even disowning itself from uh, pamphlets that are being put out? Well, there is no the Klan. This particular Klan uh -huh. that put out the statement yep. Uh, was one tiny little group based in Arkansas. It's probably got no more than 10 or 15 people in it. Uh, you know, there are 34 named Klan organizations out there, and, you know, many of them are involved in this kind of activity. So there is no central Klan office that speaks for the Klan. Uh, you know, nevertheless, these groups are growing. Uh, they are growing on the basis, as I said, of uh, propaganda against immigrants. And in the end, especially when that propaganda is picked up, makes it into mainstream talk radio, onto certain cable news television shows and some, uh, those kinds of venues, sometimes comes out of the mouths of politicians. It is not a surprise uh, when you get teenagers like wow. the teenagers on Long Island uh, who went out and allegedly murdered this man. All right. Well, uh, we wish there's a day, sir. We don't have to have you on to talk about this stuff. But we appreciate your time. Mark Potok from the uh, Southern, uh, Southern Poverty Law Center. Sir, thank you so much for your time. We will continue Thanks, here with our, uh, uh, with our viewers talking about, you know, trying to fill some cabinet positions. We, uh,